What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Rich here to talk some MLB player props over on Prize Picks. It may be April 1st, but this is not a joke. We're talking baseball today, and I have some great hitters fantasy score picks for you on the docket with some great data behind it. I'm still putting together everything that I need for the season, but there is some pretty good edges that I see right now. He's got it. We are starting off with George Springer, who came out the gate firing on Thursday. I really like the matchup against Jack Flaherty today. While there is no familiarity in terms of facing him before, he mashed his fastballs last season. So for me, I'm willing to take the bet here on Springer. Came out the gate hot, only 7.5. You see this P-Val number, which takes the pitcher's pitches and weighs them against the batter's strengths when it comes to pitchers thrown against him. And Springer checks all the boxes. He's one of the highest players in terms of that metric today. And the reason why we'll be taking him on top of that, he will probably stay hot, batting the top of that Jays order that put up a ton of runs in St. Louis just in their first game. So I do really like Springer today. I think he's in another great spot and will get on base multiple times with great run potential. And heaven forbid he hits a home run, then we're definitely going to cash on this one. Take the more on George Springer's hitters for fantasy score because he's probably going to come through for you. Then we have two plays that look great in the data and also had good opening days. Pete Alonso had a really good game yesterday. His opening day was kind of so-so, but hit a home run yesterday up against Edward Cabrera, who is absolutely nasty. His stuff is electric, but if he misses the pitch, well... Pete's gotten the best of him over the past couple ABs. You see he's got three home runs and eight ABs against Cabrera. So there's lots of upside for Pete Alonso. I really like him even at seven and a half. It seems a little bit high, but you know, the polar bear likes to get hot and he might get hot early for us this season. I'd be riding that wave in Miami. Then you have Alex Verdugo who batted leadoff for the Boston Red Sox. They put up a ton of runs on the Orioles in their opener. Chris Sale's on the mound today, so maybe he can limit how many hits and runs the Orioles score. But I really like Verdugo Again, another PVAL matchup, and you see batting 357 against Dean Kramer for his career with the home run. So there's some pretty good upside here. Verdugo was matching the ball. He had a triple in the first game. So I think there's a lot of upside for Verdugo. If that lineup, you know, can really churn out some runs again, this is a lot of upside. And again, taking one of the best players on the Boston Red Sox roster, even though it's not the best roster. They still got some good players, and Verdugo is one of them. I'd be willing to bet on Verdugo here, up against Kramer, who really isn't much of a great pitcher. Then you're talking about Marcus Semyon, because Semyon's interesting to me. Went two for five in the opener. Rangers put up a ton of runs. But now he got he's got Zach Wheeler, who he does not profile well against at all. Wheeler, one of the best pitchers in baseball, in my opinion. Fastball is just so dominant. You see how negative it is in terms of his fastball and why Wheeler's so dominant because he's so good with his fastball. Semyon's never faced him, and I think that could be a problem for him early on. I'm not saying you have to take the under here, but if he goes under, don't be surprised. Wheeler's a phenomenal pitcher, and they have a great bullpen behind them. So I think there could be a lot a lot less runs in this one, depending on what happens, but Wheeler looks to be in a good spot. Love him in his first start of the year. I don't know if I'd go over the strikeouts. They are at six, at five and a half. I really liked it at six. I'm kind of like, ugh. But there could be an under in play for Semyon here. Again, not a ton of data, but it's still early. And the PVAL data says he's going to be overmatched to some degree when it comes to that fastball. If he can hit the off-speed stuff, then he may be okay. But if he's just relying on trying to tee up that fastball, may not be so good for Marcus Semyon. So these are the four picks I'm looking at today. I think there's a lot of great value on the board early. But that's what I'm looking at. We got George Springer over his hitter fantasy score at 7.5. Pete Alonso over his hitter fantasy score at 7.5. Alex Verdugo over his hitter fantasy score at 7.0. And Marcus Semyon under his hitter fantasy score at 5.5. As always, if you tailgate price for tail and if we fail, do not bail. And don't hesitate to take these guys for bomb calls because... They could be on bomb watch as well. Well, you know, maybe not Marcus Semyon, but the other three are definitely in play. So good luck today, everybody. It should be a fun slate. I'm very excited for baseball being back. Baseball weekend is in full swing, and I could not be more excited. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. He's got it. What a catch by Mookie Betts. A lot of names that if you're not a Pirates fan, you probably don't He's know. He's the closest thing we've seen to Mike Trout. Yeah, the best team in the American League. The Yankees have the most intimidating lineup in baseball.